title, who you're with? Cindy Millette, and I'm an organizer with Citizens for Tax Relief now. And we're here at Austin City Hall. That's you guys right. have a big event. What is, what is your message today? Our message is that uh, there's a lot the city and Travis County can be doing to make Austin more affordable. There's been a lot of misinformation about what's causing the affordability crisis here. And the truth is, the city and the county, if they chose to do so, could bring real tax relief now to all residents, uh, the city by instating the homestead exemption, but also by setting lower property tax rates. If our, if our property values are through the roof, they need to start operating on a reasonable budget. We're going to be pushing for what's called the effective tax rate, which just means they're going to lower the tax rate, operate on the same budget that they have the year before, and any new property that's out of the tax roll is just gravy on top. It's extra income for them to work with. They really don't need to be raising taxes the way they're doing. That's that's really critical to why Austin is having the affordability crisis. That a lot of people get excited when they hear a politician talk about lowering the tax rate. Right. The valuations go up, we end up paying more, but, yeah, that's right. but we've also seen a lot of our fees for services going up, which is a tax. Uh, that, that, that's exactly right. It's uh, revenue in the coffers of our government, and they simply just aren't accountable with the money that they're they're putting in. They're, they raise spending every year, and spending this year for the city is up 6.5%. And when you're talking billions of dollars, that is a huge chunk of change. Well, what's, what's the message today? What do you want City Hall to hear today? We want City Hall to hear that uh, voters clearly in this atmosphere have spoken out. They are frustrated with how business has been done. Um, they're tired of business as usual. And they're ready for something new. And we're hoping through the 10-1 process, uh, through getting good information out about how we can lower tax rates, that voters will turn out in November and, uh, and decide to do things a little differently moving forward. Beautiful. Thanks. Thank you very much.